What's up ladies and gentlemen, it is yours truly Fit City. how are you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're going to have a quick video here talking about remote raid issues and things that we need to discuss. But real quick, uh, I'm going to be returning to Twitch tonight. I'm going to probably be streaming some Apex Legends, maybe even some COD. Uh, haven't played Apex in a while, so you make sure to follow me at Fit City. 40 right here. Uh, we do have 50 followers, so if we could just hit a couple of the other milestones, we could actually be affiliated with Twitch. That would be pretty cool, right? Um, and your boy's pretty good at COD and Apex as well. But without further ado, let's get into the video and the reason why you're here. So, I don't know if you guys follow Kim on Twitter, but that's okay. If you don't, uh, he brought up the fact that he was booted from eight different remote raids he was invited to, and that the Pokemon Go game, in-game support gave me one remote raid pass. This is not adequate. Now, there's obviously there's two main uh, problems with this, but let's go with the first one. Once you're booted from a raid, you can't rejoin. And that's like you're booted from the raid. Now, Niantic has kind of fixed this, but people are still encountering issues because this was very recent. This was very recent, August 9th. So apparently these issues are still happening. That there, people are getting booted from remote raids when they should be able to come back from the raids. But he's not able to. And that's an issue. There are still lags and bugs that have to do with raids, remote raids. So Nitek has to fix that. Another thing is, going into, you know, poking the bear a little bit more, as uh, someone might like to say. Um, they said that you can always reload the Pokemon Go, blah, 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 Peel, please feel free to use, reach out via support ticket. It says, there is a visual bug that makes it seem like you need to use another pass, but it does not use an extra pass. Interesting. Because that doesn't happen. Check this out. This was the one that's crazy. Thank you for writing in, and sorry to hear you're all still experiencing issues. Your feedback is appreciated. We'll pass it on to you. Sorry to say we have added the maximum number of items we can to your account in the past, and we won't be able to add any more. Thanks. That's crazy. And see, this is what Jacob said. The remote raid invite glitch is bad, and I'm glad there's a fix coming. But the folks who are affected the most by this glitch are the ones who went extra hard and did take full advantage of this new feature. These are the users you are alienating. Now, see, some people are like, wait, what glitch? But some of you guys are well aware of what's going on. Now, here's the other issue. Uh, Caitlyn, aka Pokegirl, I don't know if you guys follow her on twi Twitter or not, but um, she spent $100 just a week on Pokemon Go from remo remote raids. That's actually a problem. Um, and it is a problem, because right now, the maximum amount of remote raid passes you can hold is five. If you go down to two remote raid passes and then go in the shop and buy three more, the max you can hold is five. Currently, right now, Niantic doesn't give any way to get more than five. And if they did, they should definitely throw remote raid passes in boxes so you can get more remote passes for a better deal. But right now, for... $2.50 per three remote raid passes, it adds up quickly. You do 30 remote raids, that's $25. That adds up quick. And that's really easy to do too, especially if you got plenty of people on your friends list and you message each other and you start a raid train from home or wherever they are. Maybe someone's out chauffeuring around and doing a whole bunch of raids in person and sending invites. It could add up pretty quickly and that's actually a problem. Because before remote raids, we've had plenty of good deals and good boxes that we could spend money on. For $14.80, we could get 16, 18, 20 remote raid passes plus more. Right now, it's pretty expensive. Uh, and there's no way to, it, to buy these remote raid passes in bulk. Now, the one main argument that Niantic is going to say against this, and I'm going to go ahead and say it because some of you guys might be thinking the same thing, is that... Eventually, people who remote raid in aren't going to be able to do as much damage. That's number one. And number two, someone is going to have to physically be at the raid anyway, meaning that actual physical raid passes, like the green ones and the free ones, premium raid passes, I should say, uh, are going to have value because someone has to do it. Someone has to go out and do it. That's fine, but you're, you're actually 
alienating some player bases for that because the rural players they need these remote raid passes they need a better value than what they're currently getting and this is who it alienates but also remote raids also help the uh, rural players as well so Niantic needs to fix some kind of system they, they need to give us a way to have more remote passes because it's better to drop a lump sum and get a bunch at once than to constantly keep doing it and before you know it you're actually spending more money than what you probably would have it's really easy to do because it's a really good feature in the game and raids are fun and you're doing it with people that you want to raid with but it can be a problem so, I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below about remote raid passes. Have you encountered any of the glitches or the bugs? And have you found yourself spending more money than you probably should be because Niantic hasn't made it real efficient to garner remote raid passes? Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, be a part of the Fit City fam. That's the way Fit City and I'm signing off. See you guys in the next Pokemon Go video.